The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Then let us take let the smaller number be x. Smaller number be x. And similarly, the larger number. B Y. Now according to the question, according to the question, the difference of square of two number is 180. Difference of squares of two numbers. Okay, so here squares of two numbers we can take but here he mentioned as a difference it means whenever we are taking a difference the larger number we are supposed to take first so that's why we should take the larger number first that is y so y minus x because difference is asking difference of squares of he said squares so it means y square and x square so is how much 180 Next statement, the squares of smaller number is, square of smaller number is, smaller number is x, square of smaller number is x square is equals to 8 times the, 8 times, times means it is nothing but multiplication, larger number, larger number is y, so it is 8y. Okay, so now let us take this one as equation number one as well as equation on number two. And now just substitute the equation number two into equation number one because I need only one variable. So substitute equation two into equation one equation 1 okay so now the equation becomes y square minus x square means it is nothing but 8y then I can write it as 8y equals to 180 take this 180 into left hand side then it will become y square minus 8y minus 180 equals to 0 now if you observe this equation it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c means a quadratic equations with the one variable so now i can go to the any three method so easily we can go to a factorization method to solve this one so 1 into minus 180 that is minus 180 itself okay so if i add i suppose to get it is minus 8 so how much means i can take 18 into 10 18 into 10 180 18 minus 10 it is 8 okay so let us go with the same so minus i supposed to get here also minus let me take the larger number is negative so then the equation will become y square minus 18 y and plus 10 y and remaining minus 180 okay next for the first two terms i can take y as common so then remaining y minus y minus 18 y minus 18 plus plus 
so here i can take 10 as common for the next two terms so 10 as common i can take so y minus y minus so 10 how many times 18 times equals to 0 18 times equals to 0 next y minus 18 y minus 18 is common for both let me take y minus 18 as a common okay so what is left y and plus 10 equals to 0 let us separate this one so then y minus 18 equals to 0 and here y plus 10 equals to 0 and y equals to 18 and here y equals to minus 10 so there is a negative so then i can reject this so here y equals to 18 if y equals to 18 so if y equals to 18 what is x so as we already know that from the equation number 2 from equation number 2 from equation number 2 we know that x square minus 8 sorry x square equals to 8y then x square equals to 8 into 18 8 into 18 is how much it is 144 so then x square is 144 x equals to plus or minus square root of or square root of 144 here so therefore x equals to plus or minus 12 so x equals to either plus or minus 12 <coughs> so the larger number is 18 and the smaller number is either plus or minus 12 these are the two numbers thank you